Hongji, <laughs> I'm coming for Diddy Kong next. Right. My 16th Soul Shard will be mine. Hey guys, welcome back to another Super Mario Baseball Super Time Explosion Analysis video. Today we're talking about Diddy Kong, the son of Donkey Kong? Maybe they're just pals? Who knows? He came in at approximately 27 on our tier list, which is a 14 point drop from the last tier list, making him have the highest drop of anyone in the tier list and it also makes him the first of our five characters who have fallen out of the top 18 which we like to call the meta so diddy kong has dropped so far that he's not really even discussed about playing but i will say the highest someone ranked diddy kong is 19 which is almost the meta and the lowest 31 wow oof but we're here for a reason so let's talk about what diddy kong brings to the table so it's weird that I'm in the position to be hyping up Diddy Kong because I was very low on him for a very, very, very long time. I think that he should not be 27. I don't even think 18. I had Diddy Kong at 19, and I think there's a few things that he offers that is always at least somewhat reliable um, to be a knife pick. So he has DK cha uh, chemistry. Which I think DK is a prime shortstop and Diddy is a prime right fielder. He has glue hands. He'll never drop. He does have a star that is usable. It's not it, it, it's not bottom three, but it's it's if you need it in a pinch, you can use it. And his singles bat, I've seen him run out a lot of ground balls because I think the slow trajectory between third base and shortstop isn't bad. And I've seen him pop some balls over the third baseman and shortstop's head. Now, do I think that Diddy Kong is one of the best outfitters? No. But do I think Diddy Kong deserves to be maybe higher than 27? I do. I think he can offer a lot more than some other characters can. What do you guys think about Diddy Kong? Did you talk about his glue hands? He has them glue hands. Did you talk about his clamber? <laughs> Does he have clamber? Yeah, he's a monkey, bro. Oh, he's a monkey. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think Diddy Kong already has a good arm. Having DK chemistry and glue hands and like eight running speed... And a star are things that deservingly don't make him to be as low as he is because a lot of other characters don't have any of that. A little bit above him and a little bit of blown. Did, did you talk about his bat like this? It's small. It's not a good bat. It's not a good bat. But it's usable. It, it, it is usable. I don't think he's that much far off from Dixie. And uh, he can pitch. I've, I've seen him pitch. Maybe not an ace-tier pitcher, but someone that if you want to bring in and use maybe, I don't know, a star pitch or just use because you say, eh, I don't like any other pitches available and I want someone that has the option to hit an extra base hit, I think Diddy is one of those players that at least can do that because he does have the, the star if you need it. So Diddy, for me, he's not, I don't think he's as bad as 27. Well, you were the one person that put him at 19, which was the highest someone was willing to go. Um, but someone also thought 31, so, like, you're clearly, uh... <laughs> Tommy. Whoa, yeah. you're throwing Tommy on the... You know, you know what happens to people who insult Tommy? I mean, I've already been threatened to be killed by Tommy and Matthew yeah. multiple times. Hasn't happened yet. All right, well, I can guarantee you one thing. Killing Dennis definitely trending up. Let's talk about... <laughs> Diddy Kong. Hold on. Before before you before you get to that, I did just want to say Tyler misspoke earlier. Uh, yeah, did. Diddy Kong is Donkey Kong's nephew. Oh really? Not his son. So that means like what? Funky Kong's son then? Funky Kong. Is Funky Kong his brother? Not confirmed. Andrew, where do you think Diddy Kong belongs? Up, down, or maybe somewhere in the you know where he be? Well, back when Diddy Kong was getting picked all the time, I always said he deserved a fall from grace. And here we are. I think he's finally in the spot where he belongs. The biggest fall from grace, like I said, 14 yeah. points. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to say trending up, even though I do not like Diddy Kong. I think that his banana ball has potential. And I think he, he's just, just like all around an okay player. And as we've been going on, outfield's been getting a little bit more important. And bobbles are really deciding who wins a game. Like... Just every single meeting, we see a bobble that can like totally sway a game, and we we check later, like, hey, did this bobble actually influence like who won this game? 
And like 50-50, like yes. And that that's a lot. That's a lot to ride on. And just the fact that he will not bobble plus DK chemistry is uh is potential. He has potential. And it, his I like his star swing. I like his banana ball. So up. Not much, but up. I'm going to echo Nick's sentiment of trending up for very similar reasons. I think that with the possibility of a more captain-centric draft on the horizon, uh, it makes characters like Diddy way more valuable because the banana ball he does is very good. And I've said it before and i said it again. Glue hands is my favorite ability in the game because bobbles absolutely suck and make me want to blow my brains all over this nice pretty wall you got. So, Diddy Kong prevents that. And as such, he should be treated as such. So, I'm going to say trending up. And you already know where this is going. I'm going to say trending up as well. I do think his fall from grace was deserving. I, I don't think he ever should have been as high as he was. But I don't think he should be as low as he is right now. DK Chem, glue hands, speed, and a star. 27? Come on. Come on. Gotta be up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed this analysis of Diddy Kong, and stay tuned for more. Woo! Bye. 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 And if you want to get more information on this great game, come over to the Discord. Literally any question you have about this game could be answered by any of those guys in a second. They'll answer you literally right away. It might even be me. So the link is down below in the description. And also, we just recently started a Patreon. As of right now, there are no rewards for becoming a patron. We're currently brainstorming things that a patron would do. But um, we really like bringing you all this content. Uh, I mean, we put out a video every single day. We really love bringing you this content, and we want the quality of our content to be even better. So we started the Patreon as a way for you guys to chip in and donate so we can upgrade our equipment between controllers recording equipment, whatever, because we're going off of literally stuff I own, and <laughs> I pay rent and I have student loans, so it's not the best, but uh, we'd love to uh, update all that stuff for you, so if you want to join the Patreon, uh, the name is right here somewhere, and uh, it'll be in the description as well, so thank you so much, um, and some sort of rewards for patrons will be coming eventually, so... Thank you so much. And I want to give a quick shout out to the first three people who subscribe to our Patreon, Connor Nace, Jake Winnens, and Blake Dubty. That's awesome, guys. I literally made the Patreon today, and 10 minutes in, we already had two patrons, and then Blake joined later. So, like, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I'm planning on shouting out our patrons at the end of any produced video. A lot of the games don't go through anything, like, any production. They just go straight from the recording setup to YouTube. Anything produced will have the patrons' names at the end of the video. So, thank you so much for being our patrons, and, uh... Catch you next time.